Hello friends, we are going to learn inscribed angle theorem. To learn this theorem, we must know the exact meaning of inscribed angle. We will see meaning of inscribed angle first and then we will start inscribed angle theorem. Inscribed angle. There is one circle with center C and an angle is shown that is angle ADB or an angle PEDQ is shown in this figure. Now the vertex of angle ADB that is point D lies on this circle. This is post condition to be an inscribed angle. The vertex of that angle should be on the circle. And the second condition is this angle is inscribed in an arc ADB. Listen again. Angle ADB is inscribed in an arc ADB. Now the endpoints of arc ADB are point A and point B. Now the endpoints of this arc in which that angle is inscribed should be on each side or on each arm of that angle. If a point A is on this arm and point B is on this arm. These are the two conditions to be an inscribed angle or an angle. Now here angle ADB is inscribed in an arc ADB. Also arc AB is intercepted by angle ADB. Listen again. Arc AB is intercepted by angle ADB. Now we'll move towards inscribed angle theorem which gives us the relation between inscribed angle and arc intercepted by it. Inscribed angle theorem. The statement of this theorem is the measure of an inscribed angle is half of the measure of the arc intercepted by it. Now the first step is to draw proper diagram. Now here we have to draw one circle and one inscribed angle. Here is our diagram. In a circle with center O, angle BAC is inscribed in an arc BAC and arc BDC is intercepted by angle BAC. Means here given will be in a circle with center O, in a circle with center O, angle BAC is inscribed in arc BAC. Angle BAC is inscribed in arc BAC. Arc BDC is intercepted by angle BAC. Arc BDC is intercepted by angle BAC. Now next step is to write to prove. For that we will read the statement again. That is the relation between inscribed angle and intercepted arc. We have to prove measure of inscribed angle is half of the measure of intercepted arc. This we have to prove measure angle BAC is equal to half of measure arc BDC. To prove angle BAC equal to half of measure arc BDC. To prove this we have to do one construction. Construction draw ray AO it intersects the circle at E and draw radius OC. Now, construction is already drawn in this figure that is draw ray AO. AO it intersects the circle at point E. Ray AO intersects the circle at point E and draw radius OC. This is our construction. Now we'll move towards next last and most important part of this whole process that is proof. Proof. Look at this green color triangle that is triangle AOC. Now in this triangle AOC, side OA is congruent to side OC. Side OA is congruent to side OC. Reason will be radii of same circle. OA and OC are the radii of the same circle. Hence, triangle OAC is an isosceles triangle. Since the two sides of this triangle are congruent, triangle OAC is an isosceles triangle. Hence, by isosceles triangle theorem, if two sides of triangle are congruent, therefore their opposite angles are also congruent. Hence, angle OAC is congruent to angle OCA. Angle OAC is congruent to angle OCA. Reason will be theorem of isosceles triangle. Now, let these two angles be X. Let 
एंगल ओ ए सी इक्वल टू एंगल ओ सी ए इक्वल टू एक्स स्टेटमेंट नंबर वन नाउ एंगल ई ओ सी इज एन एक्सटेरियर एंगल ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए ओ सी इस अगेन एंगल ई ओ सी इज एन एक्सटेरियर एंगल ऑफ दिस ग्रीन कलर ट्राइंगल ए ओ सी and in previous standard we have learned extra angle theorem it tells us that measure of extra angle is equal to measure of exterior angle is equal to sum of measures of its remote interior angles hence measure angle eoc is equal to sum of measures of their remote interior angles hence angle eoc is equal to angle oac plus angle oca but oac and oca are nothing but x and x hence angle eoc is equal to x degree plus x degree that is equal to 2x degree angle eoc is equal to x plus x that is equal to 2x degree now since angle eoc is 2x degree therefore measure of arc ec is also 2x degree since Measure of arc EC is nothing but measure of its central angle. Measure of arc EC is equal to measure of its central angle, and measure of its central angle is 2x degree. Therefore, measure of arc EC is also 2x degree. Angle EOC is a central angle, hence measure arc EC equal to 2x degree. By definition of measure of an arc, since measure of an arc is nothing but measure of its central angle. Suppose this is statement number two. Now here measure of angle OAC or EAC is x and measure of arc EC is 2x. This angle is x and arc is 2x means this angle is half of this arc or measure of this angle is half of measure of this arc. Therefore we can write the relation as angle OAC equal to OAC is nothing but EAC. Is equal to half of measure of arc EC, half of measure of arc EC since x is half of 2x, x is half of 2x. Therefore, measure angle OAC or EAC is equal to half of measure arc EC. That is statement number three. Similarly, by drawing OB, we can prove angle EAB is equal to half of measure arc. BE by drawing OB will get angle EAB is equal to half of major arc BE. Suppose that is statement number four. Angle EAB equal to half of major arc BE. That is statement number four. Now adding statement number three and statement number four will get left hand side plus left hand side is equal to right hand side plus right hand side. Then we will get angle EAC plus angle EAB. Angle EAC plus angle EAB is equal to right hand side plus right hand side means half of major arc EC plus half of major arc BE. Half of ma major arc EC plus half of major arc BE. That is adding three and four. Now observe angle EAC and angle EAB in this figure. That is. EAC plus EAB is nothing but angle BAC. Angle EAC plus angle EAB is equal to angle BAC. Therefore, this left hand side will become angle BAC is equal to half. Taking half common, we'll get half into major arc EC plus major arc BE. That is equal to half into Major arc EC plus major arc BE. Major arc EC plus major arc BE is nothing but major arc BEC. That is addition of these two small arcs is equal to major arc BEC. That is half of major arc BEC. Now replacing major arc BEC by major arc BDC. Both are same. Replacing major arc BEC by major arc BDC. Only the middle letter is changed. Therefore, we will get half of major arc BDC since we want here BDC. Therefore, we will replace E by D. Therefore, we will get angle BAC is equal to half of major arc BDC. Angle BAC is equal to half of major arc BDC. 
seems like we have reached up to our target but not yet. Note that we have to consider three cases regarding the position of the center of the circle and the inscribed angle. We have to consider three cases and what are the three cases regarding the position of the center of the circle and inscribed angle? The first case is the center of the circle lies on one of the arms of the angle. Second case is the center of the circle lies in the interior of the angle. And the third case is the center of the circle lies in the exterior of the angle. Now out of these three cases, the first two cases we have proved already in this process, that is uh, in this proof. How? Let us find out. Look at this angle EAC, angle EAC, it is also inscribed angle, angle EAC is an inscribed angle where the center of the circle lies on one arm of that angle, that is our first case, center of the circle lies on the arm of the angle, means point O lies on arm, that is ray AE of angle EAC. Now in this case we have already proved that is angle EAC is half of major arc EC. Find out angle EAC is half of major arc EC. We will get this here. Angle EAC is equal to half of major arc EC means major of an inscribed angle is equal to half of major of its intercepted arc. This, that is case 1 that is first case that we have already proved. Now move towards second case that is if the center of the circle lies in the interior of the angle. For that take this angle that is angle BAC as an inscribed angle. Now taking BAC as an inscribed angle the point O or center of the circle lies in the interior of the angle. And for this case also we have already proved that is angle BAC is half of major arc BEC. Angle BAC equal to half of major arc BEC or BDC that is same. Means first two cases we have already proved here. Now the remaining case is case number 3 that is the center of the circle lies in the exterior of that angle. Now to prove third case we have to take different diagram where the center of the circle lies in the exterior of that inscribed angle. Now here is our new diagram for our third case where angle BAC is an inscribed angle where the center O lies in the exterior of that angle. This point O is not in the interior, not on the arms of that angle, it lies in the exterior part of this inscribed angle. Now we have to prove angle BAC is half of major arc BDC or major arc BC here. For D is not shown, that is half of major arc BC. To prove this, we will do construction, that is we will draw ray AO which intersects circle at point E. Draw ray AO which intersects the given circle at point E and A dash O dash E. Now angle BAC is equal to angle BAE minus angle CAE. Angle BAC is equal to angle BAE is bigger angle minus angle CAE. Now look at angle BAE which is also inscribed angle and the center of the circle is on one arm and we just proved for this angle that is the relation between inscribed angle and intercepted arc. We will get that relation as angle BAE is equal to half of major arc BCE. Listen again, angle BAE is equal to half of major arc BCE. So we can re replace major angle BAE by half of major arc BCE. Also, angle CAE is equal to half of major arc CE. Angle CAE is equal to half of major arc CE. Therefore, replacing major angle CAE by half of major arc CE. Now, taking half common, we will get half into bracket major arc BCE minus major arc CE. Find out these two arcs here in diagram major arc BCE minus major arc CE and subtraction of these two arcs is nothing but major arc BC. Therefore we get angle BAC is equal to half of major arc BC means major of inscribed angle is equal to half of major of arc intercepted by it.
hence we have proved this statement for this angle also in which the center of the circle lies in the exterior of that angle this angle bac is equal to half of major arc bdc hence major of an inscribed angle is equal to half of major of arc intercepted by it this is inscribed angle theorem thank you